Hi everybody. I like it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube, so I realize I have a lot of things going on in my life. And what I've done is is I just kind of changed things up a little bit. I don't know. I used to be in Montana, I used to talk about Montana and, I, and all the cows and none of it recreational, but just you know, living in Montana and now I come down to a ranch in Nevada. I know, I kind of, you know, I still got my stuff, I, I still got, you know, I still got the blanket lights, so I ain't no two ways about it, they got to have all that, they got, you know, different stuff, kind of moved around just a little bit, and, and uh, I had people just send me messages all the time about they wanting to see some more of the YouTubes, and I thought, well, you know, I guess I could do one, I got my camera set up, so I'm going to try to do it on my phone just a little bit, see if I can't do that. Well, one of the reasons that I wanted to do the YouTubes really bad is because, really, for the most part, I had these, I had a lot of youngsters uh, talking to me about doing the YouTubes, and I really got a lot of underwhelming response from people, um, Really, one of the one of the places is a kind of a hotbed. I got three places that are a hotbed of activity for all of my YouTubes, and the one is in the Italy, and the other one is in the Malaysia. Now, that's somewhere over there on the other side of the world, I think. Uh, and I get people sending me uh, uh, email and all that kind of stuff. It's really hard to understand them because they don't speak. American, they just ain't no two ways to buy it. They don't. So, what they do is they got this translating thing going on, and sometimes some of the words don't come out right, and uh, but there's a lot of confusion about a voodoo. See, most of them people's thinking that I actually have pins and needles and I'm sticking it in the effigy of certain individuals. So that I can sound as good as I do. But that ain't no way it is. Ain't no two ways about it. I don't need, look, I got the good stuff. I don't need to put anybody, a pin in nobody. I just, I just do my thing. That's all there is to it, ain't it? Ain't no two ways about it. Well, anyway, so, I got the Italy. I got the Malaysia. And another location that has become, it's just a hotbed of, of my YouTubes is in North Carolina, and I don't understand it. The young people, there's a, there's a young person in North Carolina just loves these videos. And I can understand, you know, because, you know, that, you know it's me, right? I mean, look at me. That's all there is to it. That's all you need to know. Uh, but... Man, it's starting to turn into spring or something. Well, anyway, uh, one of the things that has come to my attention, especially with the younger crowd in this demographic becoming interested in my YouTubes, is I have kind of a social obligation in certain instances to kind of point out things that are not good for our youth, uh, even good for our elder peoples and stuff like that. Um, and I was up in uh, Idaho here not too long ago, and I was in with a group of people. And I, I got to tell you, man, there's an alarming and very disturbing kind of thing taking place in the world today. And it's, it's called vaping. All these electronic smoke sticks or whatever it is. I don't know what the deal is, man. Look, if you want to smoke, I get that. Uh, see, when I, I used to smoke, and I used to go out and have me a cigarette break, and I'd smoke for about five minutes, and I'd go on about my business. You know, I could smoke a little bit, and i just go on and do my thing. That's all. There ain't no two ways about it. So... These people now with these things, they're running around, they got them tied around their necks like a leash, like a lost dog. They got to have this thing. It's like, it's like their homing beacon or something like that. Well, anyway, so they, these things, man, they, they, they're, I don't know if y'all have seen these, but they are a contraption. I ain't, no two ways about it. One of them, you remember on Star Trek, that, that, 
that old black gal, she was really good looking back in the day. It scared me to death because I thought she could kill me if she ever got me in bed. But anyway, that's beside the point. You know what I'm saying. Um, her name was Lieutenant Ahura. You remember her on Star Trek? She had this thing that used to stick out of her hair, man. And that's the way she talked to everybody. You know, the odd thing about that TV program is nobody else had one except Lieutenant Ahura. Maybe it was just because the woman that played it had a malformed ear or something. Maybe so they need to camouflage it with this contraption that sticks out. Well, that's what, you know, remember that thing? It would stick out, man, and it was kind of like this, uh, like, machined aluminum. And it would stick out a little bit. And she was always kind of doing like this, like it was talking to her. I guess it was her inner calm. Maybe it was her... It was her Bluetooth, so that's all, it, you know, it's like a Bluetooth, that's what it was. But anyway, so she had this thing, and it was kind of like this funky-looking little critter. Well, that's what these vaping people are carrying around. They got these contraptions, look like a marital aid, man, I'm telling you what. Looks like they're out to please a whole group of women with these things. They're big, they got it. And they stand there, and they hold them nonstop. And you can't have a conversation. It's worse than having a conversation with Dean Martin. Dean Martin, back in the day, you'd have a conversation with him, and he'd be having that drink like this, and he'd do like this, be spilling on your shoes the whole time. I mean, that's, you know, just, that's annoying. That's just, don't be stupid about it. Don't do stuff like that. Wait. Right? Anyway, so they got these vaping things, and they got them around their neck like they are, like a, like a dog training device. I expect you know, one of them to grab it and start beeping at their dog. Hey, get back here. Stop digging in the trash. Hey, bring that bird back here. Whatever. But they know. They just sit there and hang around their neck. And they got the big old monster contraption look like that. Then they put it to their mouth. Look like they're eating on a dildo or something. I mean, I don't want to be crude, rude, or disgusted or nothing. But that's what it looks like. It's just stupid. Don't be stupid about it. So they, you can't have a conversation with these people. There ain't no two ways about it. You should have a conversation and they should reach down there. And it's one thing, if you want to smoke, smoke. But if you're going to have one of these contraptions around your neck, quit acting like it's dirty. Because they take it and you need to have a conversation with them. And they'll take the thing and they turn away like they're ashamed. Well, personally, I would be ashamed if I was carrying a dildo around my neck and I was eating on that thing every once in a while. That, that's just nasty. Don't do that. But... That's their thing. It's, it's really starting to take over. It's all over the country. People are losing their minds with these things. One fella told me he spent $250 on the thing. $250 on a magic smoking dildo. Do you believe that? That is just, that's insane. That is just nuts. Well, anyway, so, you know, that's one of these things about our youth that we have to really pay attention to. Don't lead them down. The next thing you know, they're smoking on electronic marital aid and stuff. I know it's just, don't lead your children to that. Be smarter than that. And if you got to smoke, smoke. I mean, I don't know. They say smoking takes, what, five years off your life? I'd rather die five years early than smoking on a marital aid. That, I mean, that's just me. I'm just, you know, maybe I'm different than most folks, but I don't want to be some walking around with marital aid around my neck smoking on that thing all the time. That's just stupid. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of put it out there a little bit because especially for, like, you know, these youngsters that are interested in my YouTubes and especially, like, now that, I mean, now that I, I'm no longer just kind of getting big and, in, uh, in the Italy and the, and the Malaysia, now in North Carolina, there's people in there that's just special. They, they're really, um, they're really tapped into these things and they, they started cotton fire on in there and stuff like that. And I just really appreciate that really from the bottom of my heart. I, I just thought as, you know, a tidbit of information, you know, like a, much, my life is like that charm bracelet that I used to talk about, you know, it's just little tidbits of information. And one of the things I think is real important and that I need to share with everybody is don't smoke on a marital aid. It's just stupid. It just don't make no sense at all. You know, so most of y'all, a lot of y'all been giving me video or, or, or emails about my videos and wanting to get back on my ham radio and stuff like that. 
And you know, I'll tell you what, I have radios for right. She's got the blinking lights and all that kind of thing, but I'm telling you what, ham operators ain't the brightest people in the world. And there's only so long that you can hang out with a herd of idiots before you got to change your ways just a little bit, dude. You know, mix it up. I'm, you know, I'm an eclectic fella. That's what I am. I'm eclectic. You know, a lot of different influences in my life. A lot of things I like to do. You know, and I gotta tell you, there's, there's really a certain kind of uh, a fire or flame that is so important to me in, in, in doing that. I just think it's necessary to keep that really at the forefront and not let that go to waste by talking to idiots on the radio. You know, you gotta, hey, use your mind a little bit. Don't be stupid. You can't hang out with idiots all the time, but anyway. Most of y'all out there have been missing and, and talking to me about doing the YouTubes and everything. Really, this is a social disaster, these people with the murder way. We just gotta tell them. Straight up. Hi, fella. Don't put that dildo in your mouth. I know nothing else about it. So, you know, if you see one of these people, I would be careful. I really would. Because they obviously ain't mentally balanced. Anybody that would stick a marinade in their mouth in public, um, if you want to do that at home, hey, that's, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat down the river. No, that's fine with me, believe me. But, uh, yeah. Don't, if you see one of these people in, in public, be careful, but let them know. That's just stupid. Don't, don't be sucking on a marital aid or a lieutenant of hers little earpiece. I mean, I mean she was a good looking black woman back in the day. I saw her here recently. It looked like she'd spent about a week in a wind tunnel and blew all her face back. That was horrible, man. Take a beautiful memory like that for a young child and turn it into something like that. Wow, give me a headache, I'm telling you. So, I know one of the things is, is just, you young people, especially you people in North Carolina, you're the, you're the upper crust, obviously. And uh, just don't go doing these stupid things. As a public service announcement from N7CAL, I'll talk to you later.